Okay, I've never vlogged before, and then I come home from work, and I'm told today you're done your first video, so good luck with this. But for this, we're gonna make chicken lard, which is kind of like a Thai dish, but I like to eat it because it's really low fat, and my wife complains me that I'm fat, so I need to eat more of that food. I don't complain. So, yeah, all right, so the ingredients that we have so far, what do we have so far, Kai? We have sliced onion, and we have basil leaves, cilantro, and green onions, and we just picked some mint from the garden. Did you do that? Mm -hmm. Okay. We want to use whole mint or we want to slice, chop up the mint a little bit? Chop up the mint. Okay, we'll chop it a little bit, but not, not too much. Yeah. Let's put the mint together like that in a bundle. We'll bundle it again. Right, on the mat? Mm hmm Okay, this is gonna be the chicken. So we're gonna brown some ground chicken, right? This is ground chicken. And that will okay. I'm gonna use grapeseed oil instead of olive oil because it goes to a higher temp better and it doesn't burn. And I better shut the cabinet because my wife complains me <laughs> when I leave cabinet doors open. So this is a little bit different than American style because normally I would brown some onions or something like that to get some seasoning in the pan. But in this recipe, all of the vegetables and all of the spices are gonna go in just cold and raw at the end so you get their full flavor. So this is simple, this is just browning chicken. You wanna chop the chicken up and keep it moving. I already had the pan hot, that way it can start to brown right away. The texture of the larve is supposed to be really fine, small pieces. So you want to really keep chopping it up as you're browning it. We're normally like ground beef or something, you would just kind of brown it, move it now and then. This you want to keep breaking it up so you have as many little pieces as possible. So there's a little bit of liquid and moisture, but that'll steam right out. You want to keep just chopping it up, browning it, and steam that liquid right out of there. Okay, so now all the pink is gone out of the chicken, which is something you definitely want to do is not have raw chicken. When you get to that point, so now we're going to add some fish sauce, and just about two tablespoons. Fish sauce is pretty strong, so you don't need a lot, but I kind of like it too, so if I go over, that's too bad. Okay. Do a quick stir of the fish sauce inside there. Can you smell the fish sauce, Kai? Smell good? Mm -hmm. That's really the whole base of the flavor, right? Mm -hmm. And let's pepper up the meat a little bit. Not an exact measurement, and this thing pours pretty fast, but you want a good covering of pepper inside there, kind of like that. And we'll work that right into the the ground beef, and there's just a little tiny bit of liquid left, and we don't want to dry this out, so I'm going to remove it from the heat now. So now I've removed it from the heat, and as you can see, it's browned up. You can't smell it there, but I can smell some nice fish sauce, and the meat's peppered nicely. Now I'm going to bring this over to a mixing bowl where we can add the other ingredients. Alright, let's add our chicken. Now it's Mikai's turn to add some fresh herbs and onions. What are you going to add for us, Mikai? Nice onions. What do we got there? Our sliced onions. What's next? Basil leaves. And cilantro. Okay. Green onion. Green onion. But let me. Get those little bits and bites, we don't want to waste anything, right? Let me mix this in, or do you want to mix that in? Okay, you mix that in. Spoon will probably be easier than the spatula. Oh no! Uh oh, 
Don't put that back in though. <laughs> here, I'll do a couple flip overs here. Toss it. And let's put in the mint for the last herb. It's gonna be really good. You got that? Okay. Just red pepper, crushed red pepper, right? Keep going, a little bit of heat. So we're gonna add a little bit more crushed red pepper because we like it kind of, a little bit of heat to it. You can add as much as you want. And then we're gonna salt that up a little bit and season it. And let's mix that in and we'll give it a little, before we put the lime juice, I wanna taste and see how salty it is. Not yet. Can you get me a little tasting spoon, Mikai? taste and see whether it's too salty or not. Hmm, I think that's perfect, that's really good. Now you can squeeze the lime juice inside. One, two, and three. I wanna to toss it again, but this plastic bowl doesn't toss very good, so we'll just you are mixing this way. Get your lime juice is in there. How about one more tasting spoon? I don't use the same spoon. You want to do a taste? Yeah. Okay, you do a taste. Wow. Is it, delicious? Is it mo moist? Is it too salty? Can you taste the mint and everything? Do we win? So this is a really good thing to make at home when you really don't have a meal plan for that day because it's really just ground chicken, some onions, and some herbs, and you probably already have fish sauce inside your cabinet, so easy to make. And if you don't have the mint, you can really skip the mint. Basil's pretty much a must, you need that. We didn't even really plan and you know buy a fresh lettuce or what, so this is just some lettuce leftovers that we had. They're not the most perfect cups in the world, but good enough that you can go ahead and grab your food with. Again, not the most perfect cups in the world, but this isn't a fancy restaurant either. Other things that you can do if you want to do is we're just gonna make a quick, actually we can just make a quick wrap like this. Take a little bit, put it inside your lettuce, Easy to handle, just like that, and like that, and you take first bite. <laughs> wow. Mmm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. So if you want to, you can use a, a tortilla, which makes a nice wrap to do, or you can slice up some really nice fresh tomatoes, and throw some of that larb inside a cup, a little more. Throw on a little bit of fresh tomato. You can even add some sour cream if you like. Kind of cool it off a little bit as well. I like to put Korean chili paste on mine to really season it up. We'll just mash that right in there. And that was your wrap over here. And here's daddy's spicy creamy wrap. Good stuff, easy to make. Probably five, six, ten minutes tops to make a recipe. All right, that's it for today. I just came home from work 15 minutes ago and dinner's done. And today we've got the first day open house for first grade. So let's go there and have a full belly. Bye. See ya.